Hey, good morning, y'all, and welcome to Shenandoah Circuits. We're getting ready to go on one of our very favorite circuit hikes right here. You can see Cedar Run, <clears throat> Cedar Run Trail. This one is goes down Cedar Run and it comes back through one of the park's most spectacular features, White Oak Canyon. Mm. Yes, indeed. Now, this is one of the toughest circuit hikes in Shenandoah National Park, so don't attempt this unless you have some hiking experience. Believe me, we, we tried this one uh, when we first started. <laughs> with no hiking experience. And uh, Barb and I couldn't walk for about three days after that. Oh, it was terrible. Yeah, so you gotta look out for this one because it'll kick your ass. So anyway, guys, we're getting ready to go down there. We'll uh, we'll show you some of the footage along the way. We're back from Hawaii now, back at our old stomping grounds, and we're ready to stomp. So let's get out there and have some fun. <laughs> Starting the descent down Cedar Run here, it's good old steep Cedar Run. And take a look at this grade, you can see what I meant about that elevation there. Not the uh, easiest thing to do going up. Uh, last time we went up on it though, right Barb? Yeah. Did good? Yeah, we did. Well, yeah, it was very hard. It was for my birthday a couple of years ago. Yeah. No, that's when we went down. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we went up in, in Thanksgiving and we were really stoked because we were able to do this without much trouble. Whereas the first time we did it, um, three years earlier, it like killed us. So just an, another fair warning about this one though. Don't do it if you're brand new. Any case guys, they've had, while we were in Hawaii, it rained cats and dogs here in Virginia. And as a result, you can see that we have a lot of rain. These creeks are usually dry, or at least they have been uh, when I've passed through here with Barb. But now they are chock full of rainwater. And there was actually a warning up on the park's website uh, about not coming up here because some of the roads would be closed because of uh, rain. And we were pretty bummed about that because if you recall, we got flooded out of Kauai, couldn't go to Kauai, and we almost couldn't go to Big either because of volcanoes. So we've had really bad luck with trips and we we're like, oh man, not again. But we got here and everything's open and everything's fine. So that's, that's good and hopefully our luck's turned around. Look at Barb go! Yeah! Coming right across that water. Alright, water didn't stand a chance. Hell yeah! <laughs> you. Careful. Real slippery. Certain death and all that, yes. Jesus. Wow. Well, check it out, folks. I've never ever seen it like this. I don't keep saying that. Boy, it's true. Man. Huh. 
Right. Be careful. <laughs> Close. What's that? Is that where we stand before? Yeah. I believe it is. I wonder what the big one must be really going. This isn't the big one, guys, believe it or not. So Barb and I did swim here naked one time and got caught. Wow. You can see this is some of the uh, more difficult stuff here I was telling y'all about. Well, I can tell you walking on granite is just fine. I like granite just plenty good. Uh, it's a lot more reliable than Hawaiian lava rock which is just about as light as glass and completely unreliable as a walking path. It falls right apart under your feet. So I'm glad to be back home on good solid North American granite. Dig it guys, look at all these beautiful blossoms. Oh man. It's a beautiful thing about the mountains. You go up a few hundred feet, you're in a different climate zone and they're not spent up here. They're a few days behind the ones down below. Okay. Always reminds me of a wedding party. Yeah, it's like a big crazy wedding. All these fancy like hillbilly brides with wild mountain dresses swinging around. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool, man. I like hillbillies. We're still getting up there. It's uh, you know, one of our favorite hikes. We've seen this hike in the winter, in the summer, in all seasons. And summer is certainly one of its very best seasons. It has beautiful face on. Um, if there's any West Coast people watching, you get, it, takes, it would take you guys a little getting used to in the summer because we're in the forest the whole time and you don't get a lot of big views like you guys get out there. But when you do get a view, it's nice and big and extremely appreciated. And being in the forest is cool in its own right. You just have to get used to it. I uh, never bothered as a you know Virginia guy I've I've never been bothered by it. I always liked the forest. Yeah, yeah, you're right, man. Now we're coming up to the foot of the big falls right here. The very base of it, where it's going at 100 miles an hour. Man, this is really the, uh, one of the, one of the, an really the end of Oak Creek Canyon Trail, as far as the, portion coming up from Syria goes and then you have the second portion of it that goes all the way up to uh, Skyland up there which we won't be doing today because that's not the way the circuit goes you can see there's also a horse trail that runs more or less concurrent with this Oh. 
Oh shit, I think that's where we're supposed to go. Yeah, I don't know about that. Luckily there's a bridge up the way. That we can take. Here's the last leg of the journey, guys. There's a horse trail. Now you can pick it up that way if you are like crazy, but if you'd rather you just go up that that road there a little bit and then you come to a bridge, a really nice bridge, so you don't have to bother about all that craziness there. Alright. This is the horse trail that takes you back and completes the Oak Creek Canyon Rose River Circuit. We're coming to the last leg of this hike and you can see this um, horse trail splits and you want to go this way. You want to go the left, not the right. I don't know where that goes. But left is the one for you to wrap this circuit up. The circuit hike is also available on the app All Trails, which is a great app. Definitely recommend it. And what, what, what is it called on All Trails, Butter? Um, let me see. I'm going to take a look real quick. It's, uh, All Trails is, is a place where you can find lots of good hikes. We use it to good effect. Why did I, oh, hold on. Uh-huh. White Oak Canyon and Cedar Run. White Oak Canyon and Cedar Run. It's rated hard. 290... 297 people have rated it as almost fully five stars and it's amazing yeah it should be five stars because it it's a five star trail as, as you guys have seen so this is good what you're going to see for the very last portion of it where you got a nice little horse trail here you get to kind of walk big wide path not as big as a fire road but it's you know plenty big and you can just kind of enjoy yourself knowing all the dramatic scenery is behind you but there's still plenty of beautiful forest and to enjoy. now in traditional circuit hike fashion we come back to where we started right here is where we were this morning and now we are going back to the car because uh, there's a little cantina up here and barb and i got a date with some fried chicken ain't that right barbie that's it hell yeah hell yeah and some wine so Woo! why don't yeah wine too we're gonna get we're not drunk but we're gonna drink some some liquor, right, baby? Some libations. Yeah, libations, libations. So, all right, y'all, let y'all know that uh, White Oak Canyon Cedar Run, one of the best, best trails you can do here in Shenandoah. It's not very far from um, Big Meadows Wayside up there. So, you go to Big Meadows, come down the road, it's about five miles, and you will be there. You will it's not all, be disappointed. You won't be disappointed. No, you. I'm not yeah get down here get down get here down get here. down here it's off lower hawksbill so you get to hawksbill park there's lower hawksbill on the right side of the street and you'll be there uh, if you guys enjoyed this video feel free to share it around also you're welcome to hit the like button and if you want more of these hikes from here to hawaii go ahead and hit subscribe until next time have fun out there and thanks for watching shenandoah circuits